We still have our doweling placed in the top, ready to go for our shed to be open when we come through this way. Because we did the uh, sumac weave and we used four for each one, it's brought all these threads together. So now we're gonna come back in and open those up again. And to make it easier to put your shed stick back in, I'm gonna come up with this end. So I've gotta bring that one up and then carry on through. And it's much easier to do it on this end than the bottom end because all the four are very, very close together. And I've wrapped one of my longer shuttles with the Burnett Soft D-Baby. Now we're gonna raise that shuttle that we've just put in and we're ready to do our first weave back through. And I'll tuck my end in while I'm here. So continue that process until you've got about a good quarter inch of weaving going back and forth. And I'm going to end by having my last pass go through to the right. You can drop your shed. So we've ended on this side and so we're going to form our first triangle on this side. This would be one and this will be two. So I'm going one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna end there. So I'm just gonna tie this, just as a reminder, that's as far as I'm going. So now we're gonna be going back to using the tapestry needle. So I will have to unwind some of my wool that I've got on the shuttle. So to form a triangle, we're going to have four lines of weaving for each row. This one's over, so we know we have to go under that one. And now we're going to come back the other way. Let's see if I can do this right-handed. <laughs> I'm a lefty. Pass number three. It's under, we're going over. And again to the purple. That was number three. We're under and we're going over. And that was pass number four. Now we're gonna start making our triangle smaller. So we ended on this second one in, our yarn is underneath. We want that yarn to go around the back of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up between the second and third one. And then weave across. And now we have to still go down. We want to wrap around the second one in. So we're still gonna go underneath, pull it through. 
Remember that was pass number one. We need to wrap around only this one. So we still have to go underneath because that's where our yarn is. So we're going to be going under two of them and then come up between two and three and start our weave back again. And this is pass number three. We're under, so again, between two and three. And pass number four again, come up between two and three, and weave back. When we get to our other side, this time come up between two and three, and that's as far as we're going to go. So over we go, and under. And now we want to wrap around number three. So we're going to come up on the third set. We're under, so we're going over. Pass number three. It's under, so we're going over. And up between two and three and pull through. And back for number four. And now this is number four but we want to come back for number one for our next row. We've already done our two here, so now we're gonna drop down between three and four. Come up between four and five and weave back. And now on this side, we're going to be wrapping around this one here. So we still have to go down. We don't want to pick up this one. We've already done our two rows there. We're wrapping around this one. So we need to go under these two and come up between four and five. Five. And this is the one we're working on. One, two, three, four. Go down. Okay, with me trying to film and weave and explain at the same time, I, I am tending to lose track of my, if I'm on three or four. So a good way to check that is I've got one here and there's my second one there. So as long as I've got two rows here and two rows on the other side, I mean four and five. We've already got the two on this side and we're gonna now start forming our two. We need to go under two and come up right here and weave across. I have two on this side, so I'm going to go down. Up 
under and over the next one. And we had one more to do on this section, so I'll pull through. And it's going over top and so underneath. We have our two on this one. So this time instead of coming all the way under all those bottom threads, we can come out here. This time we're gonna go around and under. So this is our next pass. And up. We have our two on this row and we're starting this one. So we're going to come over this one. And we're stopping there. And back. To finish this off, I'm just going to come and break up these groupings of two. And then coming back, I'm going to break up this one and just come under that one. And we'll cut off that yarn because we can't bring it back into the other one. We'll have to start from the bottom over here. And thread the needle. I'm going to go down one more time underneath here. And that will tie that off. So we've now finished our triangle on the right side. I'm going to skip a set of two each, so four strands in total. And then I'm going to start here. I'm going to count over ten. And we'll just make a marking here so we know that's where I'm forming those ones and it will be another group that we're leaving and this one will be starting here for our left triangle so I'll do my next triangle starting in this middle section here and repeat the same process as you did on the triangle to the right so this one is our first strand we'll be going under 